In this short, or maybe not so short, video tutorial, we'll try to teach you how to properly assemble a large cat. And you start with an easy task. The first thing you do is you install the eyes. And uh, the eyes are easy to install because they were designed in such a way that they uh, settle in their sockets with a click. So all you do is you position an eyeball and you push gently. And the eye is installed. As you can see, there is a little groove on the back of each eyeball. You can adjust the line of sight using a thin instrument like a screwdriver, like so. Now the front legs, a slightly more complicated task. And you start this by preparing the parts. You have to make sure that the parts don't get mixed up. That uh, the joints, for instance, for the left leg will go into the left leg and won't be confused with joints for the right leg. So you preliminary, so you, you compare the joints and you preliminary assemble two legs like you will see in a second. And the joints, they should hold. Uh, next thing you do is you put each leg side by side. You put the two legs side by side and we now have to decide on the length of the elastic. And that is very important because the length of the elastic will determine how tightly the cat will be uh, will be assembled, how tightly the joints will hold. So we uh, decide on the length, like you see right now, and we cut a piece of elastic, and the next thing we do is we make a loop, and we uh, then create a knot at the end of the loop. And the important, very important part is to make sure that the knot is very tight, because it will have to hold both legs. So we are uh, tightening it up uh, by hand at first and then we are using a special tool, a grip, to make sure that the knot is very tight. Now we are cutting off extra elastic and um, in a second we'll start preparing our next tool. And the next tool is, surprisingly, a piece of wire. A piece of thin wire less than a millimeter in thickness will help us to mm, pass the elastic through each of the joints. Again, we are making a loop. And uh, now we will pass the wire through the elastic, like so. Now we have to make sure that the wire holds in place, that it doesn't wobble, so we twist. What we do, we twist the wire, like so, and we pass our entire construction through the first, first joint. Um, or rather a proper joint of the torso. Now we have our elastic positioned. We have a wire on one end and now we are putting uh, the same wire onto the other end of the elastic. And we are again twisting it. Each little loop Obviously, it is the same piece of elastic, but we now have two loops and each will go through, through a corresponding leg. We bend the wire slightly, so it would be easier for us to pass the wire through, through the first joint. The first joint is the hardest, because the holes are not opposite each other. Once we have our first joint positioned, what we do now is we straighten it up the wire and now we are straining the other joints 
as if they were uh, pieces of bead, maybe. We are helping ourselves with our grip because right now the uh, tension, right now the tension in the wire is quite noticeable. Next thing, next thing we do, we take, we take a toothpick, as you will see right now. You can see the elastic now, and we um, we uh, use toothpick to to hold the elastic on one leg, and uh, now on the other leg. And we can now remove remove the wire. Now part two, and part two is slightly more complicated, probably. We are making hooks uh, using a significantly thicker piece of wire and a special tool which is co called round, round pliers. Notice that uh, one hook is larger than the other. We are cutting off um, cutting off uh, the hook from the rest of the wire and now we are using the larger hook to grip uh, to grip a pin and then we clutch the hook so it will stay there and the pin is on the pow as you can see so the pow is attached with a hook now back to our legs we are adding another toothpick and another toothpick. So now we have three toothpicks on each leg. And uh, the smaller hook holds, it holds the, uh, the elastic. Again, we clutch it. And uh, one leg is assembled. We remove the toothpicks. Uh, make sure that the orientation of each joint is correct and the same uh, the same for the other leg and uh, we have our front legs assembled we make sure that the joints uh, move properly and they will be a little bit steep at first but that's okay Now we are assembling the torso. Again, we are comparing the parts and uh, even uh, at this point we are preparing the hind legs because uh, the torso and the hind legs are, they are assembled on, uh, onto the same piece of elastic. So we have to make sure that we have everything prepared. Right now we are we are preparing the hind legs. Before that, we've uh, prepared the torso itself. Now we are putting uh, these uh, pieces together again to make sure that we take the right amount of elastic. Because, as I said, the same piece of elastic is holding um, the torso and the hind legs. Again, we are making a knot. You are, uh, you should be familiar with this process by now. We are making a knot. We make sure it is tight, and uh, now we are cutting off extra, uh, extra elastic. There is no reason to keep it there. Now what? You may be asking. Now we are taking the head, and there is, uh, there is a pin inside the head. The head is uh, our first joint, as it were. Um, we are using a piece of wire again. We are passing the wire through the elastic, just like with the front legs. And we are twisting the wire at the end to make sure it holds. You have to uh, take into account that this video is edited. The actual process of uh, assembly, it is longer. It actually took something like 40 minutes to assemble the entire cat. We made a hook 
um, we bend the end uh, of the wire and we have two loops now. Um, important thing again, we have to make sure that the knot is dead in the center where it, uh, where it should be because uh, otherwise um, there might be problems. Joints might not work as well. <clears throat> we are adding a wire to the other uh, to the other end of the elastic, and we are twisting it again. <clears throat> and now we are twisting both wires together. Uh, you will see why in a second. Well, basically, uh, we're we are creating a single. Mm, single piece of wire so to speak so that we would have easier time to pass uh, to pass it through the torso because at this point uh, at this point we are working with the torso later uh, each piece of wire will go into uh, into its corresponding hind leg but right now we are working with the torso we've just added the neck now, um, now the chest, and again, uh, you can see that we are always using the tools. We are not uh, using our fingers. We don't want to hurt our fingers. Now uh, the belly, and after the belly, the pelvis, obviously. Uh, the pelvis here is, uh, is of course, uh, the part to which uh, the hind legs are attached. Again, we're uh, we making a, a small hook at the end of the wire to make sure we uh, can easily... Actually, it is not as easy as, as it looks here. It, is, uh, it takes some getting used to passing the elastic through such, uh, such parts as, uh, as the pelvis here. And now we are untwisting, untwisting two wires. Um, because uh, now we are uh, preparing, um, we are about to start working on the legs, uh, legs themselves. We are using the grip, uh, which helps us to pass one of the loops on the other side of the pelvis. And the wire is helping us here. And we uh, have to make sure that each wire is properly twisted because it could untwist uh, in the process. Now uh, the hind legs. As you remember, we prepared the joints way before. And now all we have to do is we have to string them. Again, like with the front legs, we are passing the wire through the first joint using the grip. Then we are straightening up the wire and uh, straining the other parts, like so. And at the end of it, uh, we will again use uh, the toothpick to make sure uh, that the elastic stays in place. We don't want to hold the elastic with, with our fingers the whole time. Uh, the hooks are already made. You've seen uh, how we made the hooks previously. We've made the hooks, we attached the pow, and now uh, the joints of the hind legs are assembled. As I've said before, uh, the joints can be a little stiff at first. Uh, because of the printed parts, they have uh, they have a pretty interesting texture, and it gets polished a little bit um, after a while. Now to the tail. Tail is composed of multiple joints, and we again have to prepare them. At first, and uh, as you can see, we are using a different, different elastic now. 
this one is thinner, significantly thinner. Again, we are making a knot at the end, um, and not just one knot, we are making two knots. We uh, have to make sure, and that is very important, even more important than previously, that the knot is large enough and tight enough, because it will hold all these joints, and it is very important to make sure that the, um, the last joint uh, or the first joint, the smallest joint, holds on the wire even under significant, uh, significant pressure because if it slips through, the entire tail will shoot out, all the parts will scatter around the room and you will not, never be able to find them. So make sure that the, uh, that first or last, uh, again, the smallest joint holds, holds well with, uh, with that elastic. Again, we are uh, we're employing a wire to pass, uh, and th uh, this um, this elastic it is not looked um, because uh, because we don't need a loop here, but we are still uh, using the wire to pass it on one side of the pelvis because this elastic will be. Uh, holding on uh, the torso elastic and that is how it works we could tie it on both sides of the pelvis but here it is uh, quite sufficient to uh, to tie it on one side and again we um, have to make sure that uh, the tightness of the tail is comfortable for us that the elastic holds well. We cut off the rest. And basically, we have our cat assembled. Um, we make sure that, uh, that it holds, that the tightness is comfortable. And we start working the joints. It, it takes a little time for the joints uh, to polish enough so that, our, uh, that the movements of the cat are not uh, as restricted as, it, uh, as they are at first. But the good thing about this material is that it holds poses pretty well. Now another small thing. We'd like to show you how you change the eyes. You don't have to unassemble the whole, whole cat, of course. All you have to do is to uh, position the head like you can see here. And uh, you as easily can remove the eyes and put in other eyes. Eyes of different color in this case. As I said at the beginning of this video, um, eyes settle in with a click pretty easily. And uh, that is pretty much it. Now you know how to assemble a large cat. Ain't he pretty?